What's up everybody, Sat K Bani here. I'm going to show you how to design this cover art. Let's go into Photoshop and we want to click on Ctrl and this is our new document. We are going to set it to 2000 and 2000 and then here 300 RGB here 8 bit and then we are using pixels. You're going to call it cd cover or album cover and then i'm going to click on create i'm also going to go to view and i'll go to new guard layout and then i'll set it to eight and i'll set the side to also eight and then i'll click on okay so we are done with the setup we want to start with the background and with the background let's go to the adjustments and then let's go for solid color. I'm going to choose this particular color code F D E F A C. I'll click on OK. I'm also going to bring another solid color again. And I'm going to choose F B B C 5 0. And I'll click on OK. Now I'm going to click on the mask and go and pick my brush tool. And also make sure the caps log is off. Increase the size of the brush and then set here to color black click on the mask guys then the opacity and the flow 100 and then set this side to round soft round and click in the middle click in the middle i think we're done we want to put it in the group and then Control g to um group it let's call it bg now we also want to bring our logo oc music contacted me and he wanted me to do this um you know i won't cover for him i'm really grateful for that if you really want to check him out you can check the description you find a link to his videos and all his work there this is his logo i'm going to drag it up a little bit more maybe make it a little bit more smaller okay the logo shouldn't take too much of the attention and then let's go and pick the details so we have this i'm going to click on t there's a text to type there and then paste it I'm also going to use Tiempo's headline. All right, so I'm going to leave everything in the description, guys, for you, including the PSD of this particular, um, you know, project. Um, Tiempo's, we are going to set it to bold. We want it to be really bold because we want people to see it. And then we are going to set it to color black. Maybe not too black. Let's come a little bit up there. And then let's set the font size to 4.7. We want to make it all caps. I feel like the 4.7 is too small too small let's make it let's make it 47 <laughs> let's see 47 is too big ah we have to go manual on this one right so i'm going to hold alt and then resize it resize it then i'll drag it to the middle there i also want to click on paragraph make sure it's middle aligned great let's close it Control t resize it more and then let's open the character and then let's give it the tracking 200 great let's pull it down a little bit more okay i feel like this is better let's let's hit let's make sure it hits the top and let's drag this up okay let's duplicate oc music and then let's drag it down and then let's come and pick produced by field speed I love that name field speed paste it there and then let's give it 60. we also want to work on the color a little bit i feel like the color but let's reduce the size the size is too big okay we don't want fields be to take the attention from the name oc music so we need to make it a little bit bigger so we need to make it a little bit smaller let's select these three and then click on your move tool and then come and click on this particular one that way everything looks professional and neat now let's give this one a little different color light one so that the attention is still shifted to the oc music ghana fit sami k and then the color we are going to give is six a four nine zero one and so this one blends a little bit with the background takes the attention away and gives all the attention to the oc music now let's put this in a group and then let's call it logo great so the logo is also done we want to bring our handles in there 
Now let's drag the handles in there into Photoshop. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> let's drag it into Photoshop and then let's release it at this point. And then Control H to bring this and then let's resize it. Let's resize. Exactly. I wanted to hit that point and then I'll drag it down all the way there. Perhaps it should come down a little bit more. I feel like this is enough. And let's bring in the other details. Let's put this in a group. Let's call it handles. So guys, the way I am grouping it, I wish you could do same. It's uh, something you should you should learn or you should incorporate in your in your design if you're not doing that already. But I know you guys are already pros, right? You, you guys love to name your groups and then to name your folders as well. So let's resize this too. Click here, hold out and then resize it. Awesome. Let's drag it down. Come down a little bit. Drag it here. All right, now you want to keep it in the middle, guys. Keep it in the middle. And then let's give it some shadows. Let's create a new layer. Drag it down here. Pick up brush, set it to color black. Make sure it's also a <laughs> soft round brush here. And then 100, 100. Caps lock off and then reduce the size a little bit. And then hit there. And then control T, hold shift, and then drag the side down. Awesome. Now you want to move it in there. Control H to hide it. And then let's move our cursor. Let's drag it there like this. I feel like this is good. Control J to duplicate it. Then let's shift it there too. It looks realistic, right? It looks realistic. Let's put it in a group. Let's call it card. So the card is done. Now let's also go and bring in the other amenities. Let's bring in the pen. And then let's resize the pen. Drag the pen there like that. Drag it underneath the card. Something like that. It's quite good. Let's drag it there like this. Okay. I like it and then let's also go and pick what else we pick let's pick this let's drag it into photoshop okay and then with this particular one i'm going to pick this and then make sure my caps lock is off i'm going to cut it i'm going to cut the feathers out and then i'll click on the mask and then i'll control t on it and then resize it enter and then move it all the way there let's drag it underneath underneath it as well okay so let's move it somewhere here i think so far it's, it's better guys what do you think about the composition um and then let's also bring in the vase let's bring in the vase let's drag it here and then let's drag it like that and then let's drag it there and then you can see it's sticking out i don't want it to touch that side so i'll drag it there now I also try to push it here like this so that it gives you some 3D effect. It gives you some dimension. Uh, that's what I'm trying to do. I don't want you to drag it here too much. No, I want you to put it there. It gives you some dimension. And also, also let's let's create a new layer there. And then let's pick that and then let's reduce it a little bit. Then let's paste it there. All right, let's click on, yeah, let's use, let's see. All right, let's see. So we are using luminosity. Let's use luminosity. I want to separate the card from the, um, the vase, create that particular depth. All right, so what else, what else can we bring? We are done with this. We are done with this. We are done. Let's bring this too. Let's drag it into Photoshop and then let's let's see resize it in fact we need to drag it underneath the pen too as well and then let's drag it this way I love the no 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 we don't want it inside. We don't want it inside this. We want it here. All right, so that is it. Let's drag it there. 
yeah, like what is Seth doing? What is Seth doing? What is wrong with him? I'm trying to look for a perfect guys. It has to be perfect, right? It has to be perfect. Yeah, I know it has to be perfect. I'm trying to I'm trying to find the perfect angle for it. I think I'll go with this, guys. Now, now this is totally this is totally your by your own choice too. So let's drag this also over there. So, guys, feel free, feel free, do whatever you want to do there. I don't really, I don't, <laughs> I don't really see uh, the reason why I have to spend too much on it. But you guys are graphic designers, so you guys, you guys, you guys can kill it with your best shot. Now, this is also there, but I don't want this to be a kind of distraction. So I'm going to give it. Um, a motion blur let's go to filter let's go to blur let's go to motion blur and then i am going to set the angle to 31 and then i am going to set let's say the angle to 32 and then the distance let's set it to 173 and click on okay all right so now if you know there's something going some action going down there but you don't really know what it is right you don't really know what it is so I feel like this is better. I'm going to put it all in a group and I'm going to call it others. Enter and then control T. Let's see. Okay, so you can see everything falls in nicely. Now control H. You know what I'm trying to do, right? Yeah, you guys know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to I'm trying to keep it close to the middle as possible. All right. Now I want the pen. I feel like the pen is quite isolated. We really want the pen to sell so let's drag the pen in a little bit and let's also make sure it goes touches it a little bit okay and guys like that we are done with this particular side of it what we are going to do now is add a channel mixer and i'm what is the channel mixer i'm doing this because we're just setting it to red here and then let's set it to soft light i just want to change the color a little bit boost it up a little bit more and then I'm going to set this side to 50. All right. And we are done with the cover art. Now, guys, if you love this video, hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel. Love you all, guys. See you in the next episode.